Hi guys, well today is the seat swivel day. I finally got it yesterday and um, today's Sunday. So uh, let's get on with it. This is the seat swivel. And that's the instructions, that's the bolt strip. And these things here, um, that's the little popper kit. Um, there's a load more to it there. Um, yeah, so that's the popper kit for the, the curtain down the side there so uh, without further ado I'm going to fit the seat swivel fit the seat swivel yeah I think I got that right <laughs> here we go as well it didn't go to plan and um, the seat's out it's over there and the sweet the swivel base doesn't fit it's too small so I'm assuming it's for a, an older seat base because I think that one is um the, the box seat box is a lot smaller than this one so um on the auction though it didn't i got it off of ebay the auction didn't um specify a year for the vehicle or anything just said for a Renault master box or movano so uh um so i'm gonna have to put the seat back in and get in touch with the seller and see what we can do about it so um next job do the poppers for the curtain I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, I've got these um, poppers. That's the receiving part of the popper. Can you see that? And I think that's going to go somewhere about there for the first one. So the curtain will hang down, the first popper will go in there, and then I'll put probably another four or five going down the pillar. So um, they're not actually meant to receive screws, I don't think, but I've got these small steel screws and that will go through the middle but they do they are raised up slightly so I don't know if that would hinder the popper at all so I'm just going to put one in and try it so here we go I self tap in so they should just go through the plastic like that I'm going to get started. So that's the receiving end. Oops, that's right. Um, let's go and get a, the other end and try it. Okay, so this is the other end. Let's see if it pops on. I'm going to have a head of a job getting it off, I expect, when it does. If it does, well, it does. Okay. Now, do I get that off? <laughs> so, oops. Obviously when it's on material it'll just pull off with the material. So there we go, that works. So I'm going to carry on putting some down there and then I'll mark it on the curtain and um, we'll give that a go. Actually it's just looking like rain so I'm going to um, quickly put the seat back in. Now I've got the poppers in, I'm going to uh, pull the curtain across and mark it off. And all the way to the end. So the first one, we might as well use the hem. There's going to be a, a more solid um, material, like a tougher material. So I want one there. Let's drift it down to one there. Drift it down to one. I think I'm going to need to take the curtain off now to actually do it. So I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, I did one um, popper on the bottom just to see if it worked, and uh, it turns out that the screw heads were too big on the on the pillar. So I've had to change all the screws. Anyway, this is how we're doing it. So I'm just using a, a bradle and uh, just poke a hole through the curtain 
I don't know if you can see there, as it's pushing through, there's some black fibres coming through. So inside this curtain, even though it's quite lightweight and flimsy, is uh, interwoven with um, black material, which obviously is the the blackout portion of it. So I'm using a Phillips screwdriver into the hole now, just to make the hole big enough to receive the poppers. Like that. We've got a, a popper hole there. And I'm just doing that through all the holes. I'm doing all these weights because there's something solid to, to um, thump against. And it gives you this little cap to put the, the back end of the, the popper in. So, so this is the side I want the cap. is actually the inside of the curtain. Um, but I want the cap on this side the poppers on the other side and push it through so that the, the um, metal pops through put that over the top get it all twisted up here and then put it inside this blue cap push down as hard as you can and then it gives you this hang on, let me just switch the screen on gives you this little tool that goes through the center I'll just bring it up to you so it goes into that hole there and then you just basically hit it with a hammer and that's it done so uh, there we go rocking a little bit uh, just give it a bit more of a punch there we go you can see It's done. I'll carry that on for all of them to so make sure I put the, the nice side on the back. There we go. That up. One of those in there. Get the tool. Make sure it's not nice and tight. It is. So I'm just going to feed the curtain back into the track and I'll fly it out the right way round. There we go. Okay. So it's just a basic Swiss track that they used to use on the old caravans. Push that up there, slot that in, first one done. And the same for all the rest. I remember there's ten I think. So as long as we're going. Almost there. And then the last one. There we go. Now stop it pulling out. There's a little stopper, so that just goes into the end, like so, and then just you just do up this little hook thing. The hook thing is to put one of the the hooks into to the curtain, um, but I, I, I want to push the curtain all the way along when it's not in use. So. easiest of spaces to work in at the moment so sorry you can't see anything okay so now nice and solid now so this this can't come out so I'll take you off of there okay first popper Ooh. second popper okay, so there we go poppers all the way down and uh, I can pull that And nice and light tight so a um, bit disappointed today because I thought the swivel would um, would be done but uh, I've emailed the seller and um, we'll see what comes of that so uh, but I've got the, the poppers down on the curtains 
that's good um, this side doesn't actually need one uh, that sort of just goes in there quite nicely actually uh, just from there because it's quite close to the back of the seats so um, yeah so I've, I've got another little job I might have a look at in a minute so uh, I might come back to you in a sec hi guys right I'm doing another little project at the moment and um, it's for when we go to shows and things I don't know if you remember a couple of videos back we went to the home counters box of welfare um, fun day and uh, I set up and did the um, scurry um, when we've got the dogs with us um, they obviously can't always be outside with us so uh, I'm building a mesh panel that goes across the side door but be able to being able to leave the side door open so um, so I will show you what I'm in the middle of at the moment so you can all remember let me move the table out of the way that I basically took apart a, a folding dog crate to make the front door and the door behind on the dog kennel in Nina um, obviously had some sides left so uh, I'm going to utilize those now I've cut one down just now and um, basically it is going to slide out across the the opening there and then sort of the smaller panel will fold in and it will all slide back in again um, onto that wall there but I'm going to make a hopefully make a, a cover like a, you know a false wall for it to slide into so you don't have to to look at the mesh panel so uh, that's what I'm in in the middle of at the moment so, uh, I'm not sure if that worked properly I'm sort of doing front and back camera on the phone at the moment so uh, yeah so I'm gonna carry on with that so I shall see you in a bit and I'll, I'll show you what I've come up with basically some aluminium frame that came out of Nina originally it was part of her overhead cabinet and if you remember I cut this one down to a single one and it was a, a bank of three so I had all the extra aluminium and that's part of it there um, it's got a nice channel running in inside it, which the um, the mesh can can run in. Um, so there we go. That's the idea. I'm going to put obviously put some better hooks or a better um, locking system on that side, and it basically just all slides back in. It sticks out across the door there a little bit, but that's fine. And um, I will be facing it all off with wood and it will all be carpeted with the same carpet um, that I saved from the bulkhead so uh, so yeah that's that's the idea so when it's faced off with wood obviously you won't have this gap you won't have this gap here when the dogs are going mad um, and I'm going to put a piece of wood on the other side as well so um, what I'll probably do is just leave a little cut out there so you can grab the stuff and put it out uh, um, but yeah, it works. Uh, yes, they could jump, get up on the seat and jump over, um, but they won't, not a lot anyway. Um, the barrier is enough. So uh, yeah, quite chuffed with that. So I've made it stick out across the door, A, so that I only needed to use a single panel. Otherwise, I was going to be using... Um, dogs are going mad for some reason. There's nobody at the door or anything. Oh, anyway. Um, I'll shut up in a minute. <laughs> uh, yeah, so instead of, so I didn't have to use um, like a, a part panel. Um, I made it stick out so that I can use just the one panel. And also at the other end, it's got this gap here. So when I finish these cupboards off um, and put a door on them, it's not going to affect that in any way. So that's good. So uh, that's where I've, um, I've got to today. Uh, I'm not going to do any more today. Uh, I'm going to pack up my tools now and the, the dogs need feeding. So it's uh, tea time. It's 20 to 6. So, excuse me, I'm going to go and put my feet up for a bit as it's Sunday. And um, I know I might watch another episode of Arrow. I'm on series 4 of Arrow at the moment. So uh, quite enjoying that one. So um, have a good uh, rest of the weekend, everybody. And I shall come back and see you soon when I know what's happening with the swivel seat and everything so um and I start finishing that off so take care everybody I'll see you soon bye